Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, I'll play E4, E5 against this guy. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing in these openings. I actually have to be careful in the beginning, because sometimes... Sometimes I screw up these openings, and I get like a horrible position. I'm going to play passive chess. Bishop E7, D6, stuff like that. Or maybe Knight A5. Oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> D6 first. Alright, whatever. Okay. I don't understand that move, but alright. Why is he enticing C6? Like, I don't, even, I don't get it. Alright. I don't know if I had to take that, but I could have went H6 instead. I want to put my bishop when E6 without allowing... Uh, oh. Uh, I'll go a6, without allowing knight g5. I'm continuing like the, the, the quick play that I was, I was doing in past games. Trying to keep my clock situation good, so that when the action heats up, I'm ready to go. Bishop e6, it's like not so exciting. I'm going to do it though. Knight d7 will control a lot of key squares after like knight a4. I'm just going to go like rook d8. Next move. Probably trade some things off. Hmm. Alright, well, right. I'm going to go bishop c5 actually. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't because uh, rook takes d7. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, that's surprising. I still can't go bishop c5. I should go bishop g5. Why do I want to trade this bishop at all now? Uh, you know, controls the b6 square, but I was worried when he went like... Oh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, knight c5, knight, knight f8 to g6, maybe. Then he goes knight a4. I'm going to do it anyway. If knight a4 or c5 seems okay. It's mildly annoying, actually. You know what? Let's just trade everything. This stuff's starting to bother me, man. I'm guessing I'll go like knight f5. Now, the question is do I take it or bishop g5? I take, he takes what's a queen or the pawn. I don't know. I'm just going to do this. Intuition, man. It's always like, people always wonder why I just say something without explanation. Because I'm just making moves on intuition, like, all the time. So it's like, I don't even, I'm not even able to verbalize why I do it in a quick time uh, situation. Like, why didn't I take the knight? I don't know. Bishop's better than the knight. The knight's aggressively posted on f5, but I just don't want to give up my bishop for it. So that's it. Nothing too complicated. You can take, I was going to take with the queen and go knight d6, but I have like queen c1 and, and taking on, on b2. So you can't really do that. We're, we're good on the clock, but the guy's so much lower rated than us and the position's kind of equal-ish, draw-ish, so we're going to have to figure something out to, to make something happen here. Like if bishop takes, queen takes, queen e3, what are we going to do? Bishop f5, queen g5, pawn takes, pawn takes, that's kind of Equality, so I probably I could trade queens and keep my bishop. All right, All right, knight e six. Just to stop any mates back here, I'll take with the pawn, I guess. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I get the f five square for my knights. So that's cool. And I'm up a minute on the clock. I go if queen d three, I take and b and then take on b three. So I actually have some slight initiative here, I think. Because knight f four is annoying. I guess it's just like right in his face, that kind of move. I'll just do it. He can't go g3 because I take on h3. If king h2... King h2 looks like a decent move. I'll go g6 though. Kick his knight away. And, and notice the time situation is getting better and better for me. So soon we're going to be at the point where we can actually think and 
maintain a time edge. So this is good because now he can't go g3. King looks better here, but he's going to go ah, okay, I'm just going to put my king in a slightly better square. Like someday, like knight h, queen h6 or something might, might be good. So whatever. Just, again, I'm going to keep the time edge uh, in my pocket. I mean, because queen d6 was definitely a decent move. Uh, all right, so g3. Let's play prophylaxis against g3. Nobody likes to deal with prophylactic moves. All right, f6 probably. Or queen d4. Queen d4, queen takes, pawn takes. Doesn't look that great. This, open, this weakens my king, though. Hmm. Queen c7 is the safest move. No, but then 8g3 again. I, I have a feeling like... Alright, I'll do this. I, I don't know, I don't like weakening my king, but it's probably okay. It just makes it easier to play in time trouble when your opponent's king is weak. Well, I'm gonna go bishop f7 and reroute my knight to e6. From e... I'm gonna go to e6, basically. How did this happen? Like, last time I thought... This wasn't possible. That's no good. Mm, I'll do it anyway. I don't feel like trading just yet. I want to get my knight to e6 somehow. Um, move my king, knight g7. I'll go bishop f7 first. Just tidy up my just tidy up my king uh, my king's safety. And notice he's running low on time, so this is going to be a big problem. Okay, knight d3 is coming, and then I'm gonna. Oh, I can actually just take it. But this is where I wanted my knight. This is my dream setup. Now knight to d4 is an idea. And, and he's getting really low on time. I'll probably start with like a queen d6 type move just to threaten some discoveries. But you know, he's down to 30 seconds. Like, like just what I was saying, the time is so important. It just wins you games automatically sometimes. I mean, I'm just going to win because he has no time. <laughs> Alright, this looks like a good move. Can't really take, because pawn takes is annoying. You can maybe take, but it's, it's kind of ugly. He's also down to 17 seconds. And next move we take on c2. I didn't see that. Sure, what it does. All right, let me. I'm gonna think now. Cause I'm so far up, and now nah, I'm gonna just move. Don't want to let him think. Queen f2 allows something annoying. Play it safe with this move. It, it allowed e6. That's what I was worried about. Uh, this wasn't the best move, probably. I just, I just want to make sure not to, not to give him enough time to think. All right, we win the game. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't really too exciting of a game. I just did some small maneuvering and I made sure to keep moving quickly and then you just win by default. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. I just I just kept making vague ideas that were nothing like too scary. But he used he used so much time that you know, it just went bad for him. By the way, I feel kinda of bad saying he is a default, but in chess I guess if you don't know who the player is, it's reasonable. It's a reasonable assumption. But Jess, you know, it could mean Jessica, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know what the hell this means. Alright. List for myself to remember. Fair, unfair. Let's see, am I on the unfair list? It's basically people who have flagged him. He considers those people unfair. I feel unfortunate not to be on the... Um, to any of these lists. I would love to be on one. Well, there we got Christensen on the list. Unfair. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.